Have you ever wondered where the cabbage you buy at the supermarket or farmer's market actually comes from? How does a tiny seed grow into a full round cabbage, get harvested, packaged, and finally reach your table? Today, join Valley of Greens as we uncover the incredible journey of cabbage from seed to your plate. Cabbage is one of the most popular vegetables in the United States, appearing in millions of meals daily, from fresh salads to crunchy pickled dishes. But behind every cabbage is a story of modern farming and harvesting techniques that few people ever get to see. Let's dive into this fascinating process. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss out on more amazing agricultural stories. And if you love cabbage, comment, I love cabbage below. Cabbage belongs to the Brassicaceae family and is widely cultivated across the United States, particularly in states like California, Wisconsin, Florida, and New York. For a successful harvest, farmers must follow a series of crucial steps. It all begins with high-quality seeds carefully selected to ensure strong germination and disease resistance. There are two common planting methods, greenhouse seedling, transplanting. This method allows for better control over temperature and humidity, ensuring uniform growth before the seedlings are transferred to the fields. Direct seeding in the fields, typically used on large farms where weather conditions support strong plant development without needing early greenhouse care. The soil must be rich in nutrients, well aerated, and have a pH balance between 6.0 and 6.8. Before planting, farmers till the land and enrich it with organic compost or synthetic fertilizers to provide essential nutrients. A modern irrigation system is crucial for precise water control. Drip and sprinkler irrigation are commonly used to maintain soil moisture without causing root rot. Light and temperature conditions are also key factors. Cabbage thrives best in temperatures ranging from 59 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 15 to 20 degrees Celsius, making it an ideal crop for fall and winter seasons in the U.S. After three to four months of careful nurturing, the vibrant green leaves begin to curl tightly, forming a firm, round head, a clear sign that the cabbage is ready for harvest. Months of labor, planting, watering, fertilizing, have all led to this critical moment. Harvest time. This is when all of a farmer's hard work is either rewarded or lost. When the leaves have curled tightly into a solid round head and the diameter reaches six to 10 inches, 15 to 25 centimeters, it's time to remove them from the field. But harvesting cabbage isn't as simple as picking an apple or pulling up a carrot. There are two main methods, machine harvesting and hand harvesting. In large-scale farms across California, Florida, and Texas, where hundreds of acres of cabbage are grown at once, hand harvesting simply isn't fast enough. This is where technology steps in. Modern cabbage harvesters work like an unstoppable force, gliding down the rows, slicing cabbages at the base with razor-sharp blades, and lifting them onto conveyor belts with robotic arms. Believe it or not, these machines can harvest thousands of cabbages per hour, 10 times faster than manual harvesting. Not only are they efficient, but their built-in sensors can scan each cabbage to determine if it meets size and quality standards. If a cabbage isn't fully matured, the machine leaves it in the field for further growth. Once on the conveyor belt, the cabbages are pre-sorted on-site before being loaded into crates or directly onto trucks, ready for processing.
But no matter how advanced machines become, some jobs still require the human touch. On smaller farms or in organic cabbage production, hand harvesting remains the best choice for maintaining quality. Experienced farmers can harvest 80 to 100 cabbages per hour. With a sharp knife and skilled hands, they cut each cabbage at the base, remove excess leaves, and gently place them into collection bins. While this method may be slower than machine harvesting, it ensures that each cabbage remains perfectly intact, especially important for organic and premium export markets. After harvest, the cabbages are transported to processing plants or distribution centers, where they undergo washing, sorting, and packaging before hitting supermarket shelves. But the journey doesn't end here. What happens next is just as important. Once cabbages leave the fields, they enter the next critical stage, processing and packaging, where they are transformed into ready-to-eat products. Once cabbages leave the farm, their journey continues. Not all cabbages are sold whole and fresh. Many go through processing to serve different culinary purposes worldwide. Did you know that cabbage is the key ingredient in one of the world's most famous fermented foods, kimchi? Napa cabbage, commonly used for kimchi, is salted, softened, and coated with a flavorful red chili paste made of garlic, ginger, fish sauce, and other seasonings. It's then packed into containers and fermented for weeks, developing its signature spicy, tangy flavor. If kimchi is Korea's pride, then sauerkraut is Europe's answer to fermented cabbage. Finely shredded cabbage is layered with salt and left to ferment naturally, developing a sour, probiotic-rich flavor. Sauerkraut is a staple in German cuisine, often paired with sausages, sandwiches, and traditional dishes. The fermentation process not only enhances flavor, but also extends the shelf life of cabbage for months. Did you enjoy the journey of cabbage? If so, like this video to support farmers and the agricultural industry. Don't forget to subscribe to Valley of Greens for more incredible farming stories. And if you have a favorite cabbage dish, comment below and share it with us. See you in the next video.